Listen to the sound from deep within. It's only beginning to find relief. Now I'm done believing you. You don't know what I'm feeling. I was talking to someone the other day. And I was telling him. I was like. I started off going to school. Like when I went to school. I wanted to um, do journalism. But I was afraid. Because it's always your passion. It's like. It's like you going out and you you taking a chance, you know, going to school for something you really, really love and you really care about. It's kind of like wearing your heart on your sleeve, you know, what I have in pa- when I have a passion for it isn't journalism, but it's writing in itself. So when I was, you know, I always wanted to be a writer, I always wanted to be an author. So therefore, if I take a journalist, if I take journalism, you know, I'll be you know, working as a columnist, um, taking news, I mean, doing, you know, working with the news and stuff like that. But at the same time, I can also pursue my vision. I can also pursue my dream. You know, you don't have to go to school for what you want to do. You don't have to go to school. You don't have to go to school to chase your dream. You can use school as a stepping stone. What I'm really trying to say is that use your job. I feel like if I use my job as my stepping stone, as guidance, you know, as I'm using it for what it is, you know, it's it's just here to earn me money. And then eventually, you know, I can start chasing my dream. That, that, but that's the thing. A difference, the difference between a job and a career, though, is like you're making so much more. And you may not even realize this, but you are making so much more because it's like you're working, you know, minimum wage every single day. And you're, you you never have enough. Even if you want to save up, you really don't have enough, but it's just, it's just about... I guess you got to treat work. If you if you're chasing after something like your dream, you have to treat work as though you're struggling. You have to still stay in that mindset of even though I got it, I don't got it. Even though I got it, you know, I'm gonna still put away some some money on the side as if I don't have it. In order to invest into yourself. And that's that's where investment starts to play its part or play its role, you know, in your life. You have to invest into yourself. Just as you would throw money in that little savings account. You know, throw money, set money aside for you. It's every single paycheck you get, you're always setting something on the side to invest into your dream. To invest into your dream. So, yeah. So I would never say that's that's the advice I would say. I would never say go to school for your passion. Never go to school for your dream because like I said, when you when you do it for the money, it's going to always be about the money and that can step in the way of, you know, your vision and and your your passion that can step in the way of your heart. You know, never go to school for what you're passionate about. But use school and use a career as a stepping stone. It's like being vulnerable. It's like being out there, you know. It's like being out there. Your heart is like steak to a pack of wolves. That's that's how you're doing it. That's how you're treating the situation, you know. It's like, you know, it's a losing situation. You gotta have your guard up. You gotta keep your guard up. And 
going to school or yeah, going to school for what you love. It's easy to just snatch your dream right from up under you. It's easy to cloud your judgment. It's easy to knock down that dream board. It's easy to do those things because you're you're putting your heart out there. So, yeah, that's, that's advice I would give to anyone going to school and pursuing, you know, their career. Even these, you know, regular jobs, nine to five jobs. That's not a career. Don't put your heart in it. Set your heart aside and invest. Invest into your heart. Invest into what matters. Invest into your your purpose. Set it aside. And use this job as a stepping stone. But be, be aware And know what you're doing it for. We all out here feeling like we're doing it to survive. We are doing it to survive. But at the same time, if you really want to walk in purpose, there's steps you have to take. You have to think about it, you know. Don't just go out there cold turkey. You know, don't throw your heart out there and expect, you know, for you to reel it back in. You know, it's like you got a you got a, a fish a fishing pole and your heart is at the end of that hook and you just throwing out your heart out there as bait. You know. You may make a catch, but your heart is gone. Because you're using your heart as bait. You won't always get your heart back, you know? That love, you won't always get that love back. So you always got to just be cautious. Be cautious. Because once it's gone, it's gone. You know? And yeah, that's what I was telling him. Or them. And like a lot of people don't don't get my point of view. And even if I say it, it's like they won't they don't really listen to what you really trying to say. You know, they don't really get what you're trying to say because it's so hard. It's so hard to get it out. It's so hard to, you know, get your point across. Especially if You've been sitting on it for so long. No matter what you try to, how no matter how it comes out, it just doesn't come out the way you want it to. That's because I feel like sometimes it's not meant for it to come out, but it's meant for you to walk in that wisdom, you know, and use it to use it as guidance. But I'm the type of person where I'm always going to help, you know, by my experience, I'm always going to help. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that because that was on my mind a little bit because I always bring up college like I've been I've tried it a couple of times, but it's like I said, it's been so many interferences with college or with me mentally. Um, I can't ever finish what I set out to do. And there was this one video about this one lady. This one lady, this one lady was talking about those who are chosen can't ever seem to keep a job. Well, what's the reason? It's because y'all are passionate. Y'all know what y'all want. Y'all are knowing. Y'all, y'all, you know, y'all have enough knowledge and wisdom y'all are gifted to where 
you know, it's it's hard to keep a job just because you know what you want. You believe so hard. You have that imagination. You know, you know. And it's hard to survive in this world. It's hard to go out there and keep a job because in the midst of knowing and all that wisdom, that's all. It's like your thoughts and stuff is always interfering with what you're trying to do or, you know, what you're supposed to do. Every single day it's a cycle and you're just out there like, dang, you know, I want to change. I'm tired of the same routine. You know, eventually something starts to click like, I need more. This is not enough. This is not enough. I need more. You know? That's when your destiny starts. You start. You begin to awaken spiritually. You start to awaken into yourself. You start to open your eyes. And you're just like. you're. It's like walk, waking up out of that sleepwalk. You're doing it every single day. And you notice like nothing is happening for you. Maybe you need to take a different approach. Why is it the same thing every single day? I'm bored. I have all this inside of me and nothing is given. You know, I may be receiving this money, but at the same time, it's not really, it's not distinguishing this feeling I have inside of me. It's not extinguishing my flame, my inner flame. It's not, you know, it's not. Fulfill, it's not craving my, it's, you know, it's not fulfilling my appetite. I have this craving and this is not really, you know, doing anything for me. I still feel, you know, I kind of feel empty inside. I feel like something's missing there. And that's how you know it's time to go. It's time to take a different approach. It's try. It's time to, you know, meet. You don't have to leave your job, but it's just. It's time for you to take it more seriously. Take it more seriously. Take advantage of that job. Don't be afraid to take advantage of that job. Anything that you are given out of life, you may not be able to take advantage of people. But take advantage of these things. Take advantage of these places. Take advantage of your employment. Take advantage of that stuff. You know? Take advantage of it. Get all of it, all you need out of it. And use that towards what you really want out of life. What you're passionate about. You know? Use it as a tool. Okay. Okay.